of the varsity men's college fixture a seed versus uh featuring hesington east rfc versus Colling collingwood rfc from uh durham college the teams are now warming up on the pitch and we're just about to get ready for kickoff presented the university and varsity last year but Hez East was at home the A seed last time York hosted Varsity in 2022, winning that fixture. So, uh, but Durham did win this fixture last time, uh, last year in 2023. So Hez East will be looking to get the easy five pointer here today. And we have Collingwood College ready to kick off with uh, fly half and captain Charlie Hol Hollis waiting on the rest whistle. And kick off and the fly half kicks off. Hezzy's to receive. Hezzy's catch. Penalty there for early hit in the air on Collingwood. Cheap penalties give away on the off, and Hezzy's have a chance to kick this through and gain some territory early on. That's a decent touch finder, just on the halfway mark, and Hezzy's will look to set up from here. Be interested to see if they go for a set piece move or they'll set up for a drive. They've gone for a they've gone for a six man line out. And we'll see what they throw up here. Max to throw in. Collingwood turnover. It's messy, but Collingwood still have the ball. First rock of the game. And it's a penalty to Collingwood, not rolling away from Hezzy's there. So a mess up from the set piece, and now Collingwood have a chance to get this ball through into the into Hezzy's first half. The kick from the captain finds touch, but it's not uh, a long kick, and we're still just around the halfway mark. Collingwood look like they've gone for a full man line out. So we'll see what set piece move they play off here. Will they go for the drive or will they play off a backs move? Oh, there is one forward in the back line, sorry. The throw's good, off the tail to the scrum half. Pua go to the fly half. Another six for a carry. However, it's a forward pass. And Hezzy's have the scrum. Not a... That was, a, that was an unforced error there from Collingwood. And this is the first scrum of the game. And we'll see how uh, the set piece in, in, in the scrum holds up for Hez East and for Collingwood. Scrum half number nine, Sam Holcroft with the ball to put in. And we'll set up the scrum. Decent engage on the scrum, pretty stable. Ball comes in from Holcroft to the scrum half. Gets that ball out. Out the back. Across the line, oh, and a knock on there from Hez East. Collingwood recover, it's in the hands of number 11. And here we have the ruck. Up for a forward carry from the number six. Good tackle from the number eight, gets him to ground. Another ruck, and then they go down the left. Trying to get the ball to this blind side, but the pass is through and it's loose. Ref has called two knock-ons, and we'll go back with a scrum with uh, the ball to Collingwood because the first knock-on was from Hez East. So that was good from Hez East, looking to exploit the uh, the outer fringes, but handling just let them down ever so slightly there, and Collingwood have now recovered to get the scrum. Play is still uh, maintained around the halfway mark, and neither side have really got into either half yet, but we'll see what Collingwood do on this set piece from here. 
first scrum was good. Howell will be on Collingwood ball. <laughs> Decent shot from Hezies, but the ball is there for the number nine for Collingwood. They play a roof out the back to the fly half. Into the centre on the crash ball. Decent tackle from Hezies. The scrum half's there for fairly quick ball. They still play to the right, trying to keep it tight. Off the nine again for another forward carry. Good strength from the number five there. They keep it in the forwards for another carry. There's pretty good physicality from Hez East. And Johnny Eagleson, number seven, is over the ball, but the ref told him to release. Here it is for the fly half captain. Out of the back to the inside centre. Kick through for the number 11 to chase. Ball stays in field. Really well covered from Hez East there. And they've got the ruck. Can they resource this ruck legally? The ref says yes. Play on. Into the forwards for a big carry. Really big carry. They could do some quick ball here into the fly half. Out to the forwards, there's a knock on. Quick turnover. Still under knock on advantage. And the ref will go back from that knock on advantage because Collingwood also knocked it on. That was really good cover there from Hezies on the kick through. Really good identification of the space by Collingwood. But um, that was great sweeping cover from the back three in Hezies. But uh, they'd be disappointed with their handling there. Uh, they potentially could have set up for the box kick. But we have a, another scrum on Collingwood's ball. Uh, we'll see if Hezies can pressure through here. They got a decent shove on both scrums. But it's uh, Will Barnett's the scrum half for Collingwood. There's a lot of push through him, but the ball's still there for Collingwood. They're setting up. Fly half takes it in himself. The ruck is secure. They move to the right. They've still got numbers here, but there's a cheap knock on there. And we'll have another scrum. So both teams in the opening uh, quarter of this half have been looking to exploit the edges, but handling has let them down. And Hezies will look to take advantage here with the scrum. I feel like if they win this, they'll all go off. The Hezies front row of Josh Lloyd, Maxi Hunt, and uh, Rory Madigan will look to uh, get some real pressure onto the uh, Collingwood front row here. Ball in from Holcroft. Hezzy's put on the shove. Ball comes out for the scrum half. Kick through for territory. Bit of greenery there, but the fullback covers it really well. What will the fullback do here? Number 15 for Collingwood. Decides to take it in. Ball is secure. Here for the number six for the carry. Good footwork to get on the outside. Good pressure in that. Madigan came in to try and turn over that rut, but came in from the side. So penalty to Collingwood. <laughs> and now Charlie Hollis, the captain, looks to put this deep into the Hezzy's 22. Has he made touch? No, he hasn't. And Hezzy's still able to kick through to clear. And play returns to just inside the Hezzy's half. Hezies at the moment winning the kicking battle, you'd say they were able to get their kicks longer. And uh, we'll see what the set piece is like here. Uh, Ethan ben bit Benman to throw in. Berman, sorry. Ethan Berman to throw in. What's their drills like? The lift and throw are good. Off the top to the scrum half. Here it is to Hollis, the captain. Number six again, but the ball is not clean. Went backwards though, according to the ref, so Collingwood's still on the ball. They go through the hands to the fullback. Ruck is really quick and clean. Can they get forward in the carry? Big carry by number four, James Cooper. They're still on the left, here we go. The ball comes out to the fly half, into the outside centre. Really good shot tackle from number, from Hez East there. Another big carry from the number six for Collingwood, really, really prominent. Uh, James Wynn. Out to the number eight on the outside. Over the gain line from Collingwood. Numbers on the right if Collingwood can explore it. Into Hollis. Turns on the gas. Guts through. The ball over the top. And a try scored there by Joe Lewis. Really good hands there from Collingwood. Got over the gain line. We're able to explore the space on the right. And a good ball off the top to find uh, Joe Lewis for the opening score in this uh, A-seed varsity fixture.
That was the first time that either side were able to construct some consecutive phases together and Collingwood were able to keep good hands to score in the corner. And captain Charlie Hollis is lining up to take the conversion. Tough conversion right on the right-hand touchline. We'll see what his darts are like to get this quote. Interesting move there, dumbing with the inside center, but the conversion is unsuccessful. So it remains uh, nil five to Collingwood College from Team Durham. Hezik's walked up to the half line, halfway line, and looked to send this kick deep. The scrum half, Holcroft, to kick off. He goes looping and high to the number six. Bit of footwear to get on the outside, gets past one defender, not the other two. Ruck ball is there for Collingwood. Forward pass, it's quick turnover of Hezis. can they explore this overlap? That was a decent kick through from Chesworth. And Collingwood dot that down over the try line, which means it should be a goal line drop out to Collingwood, which they've taken quickly. Uh, the ref has let that go. Uh, yep, that shouldn't have been. The kick has got to go at least five meters. The kick didn't go long enough. So what will the ref call here? That is looking like a scrum to Hez East. So a goal line dropout has to go a certain distance before Rick collecting it. Collingwood didn't kick it long enough, therefore it is the scrum turnover to Hez East. Right on the five metre line, they'll look to get a decent shove on here and try and exploit the space. Holcroft up for Hez East to put in. Decent shove there from uh, Collingwood, but the ball comes out. Footwork from Chesworth, over the line! Score Hez East! Good work from the forward pack to keep the pressure off Collingwood and Hez East was able to dot down over line through their fly half, Chesworth, who was able to weevil and dodge his way through over the line for a good finish. Number nine Holcroft sets up to convert to the uh, left of the goalposts. A much easier, t much easier conversion attempt than for Collingwood. So here is Holcroft setting up the ball, ready to take the lead. Cole would look to charge. Holcroft for the conversion. Over. Hezis lead, 7-5. Collingwood will be really disappointed with that. That all came from a silly... Um, incorrect uh, goal line dropout which gave Hezis the scrum and that was all Hezis needed to get over the line there. Hollis to kick off to the right hand side. Nice and high. Knock on from Hezis. Immediate turnover for Collingwood. Can they get quick ball? It's slow-ish. Ball goes to no one. Still under knock-on advantage. Here is the Hollis trying to explore the space. Onto the fullback. Hand off. Ball out to the 11. Makes contact. Ball is still there. That should be knock-on advantage over. Win again on the carry. Collingwood keep it in the forwards. But a really good hit from Hez East. Driving them back. Ball is messy but still comes out to Hollis the fly half. Out the back to the number 12. Running laterally, and Hezzy's cover quite well, but there's a step from the fullback. Oh, a little dummy from the centre there from Collingwood, but he's brought down. Collingwood really close to the line. Oh, knock on there. Quick turnover. But ref comes back for an advantage. Unknown. Um, 
Sure. Uh, and uh, Colin would get the penalty because Hezies didn't roll away from one of the rucks there. And they call for the scrum. Interesting call there. Hez East has been playing the pressure on in the scrum. So we'll see how Colin would do in this in this scrum here. Barnett, the scrum half to feed in. Ball comes out into the hands of Barnett. Hollis again, running through. No one seems to be tackling quite late. Ball is there. On to 14. Tackle, still on his feet. Back into the forwards. To the number five, N Ned PB. Quick pick and go. Great double tackle from Hezies there, forcing Collingwood back. Ball still there for Collingwood at the ruck. Still in the hands of the forwards. Wide ball to NDP. Another really good uh, pile driver of a tackle from Hezies, forcing them back into the backs through Hollis. Wide ball out. Turnover has east. They set up the scrum. Yes, Tommy! Still on his feet, the big number four. That was four defenders beaten there and a massive game line gain for Hez East. Into Johnny Eagleson. Gets the ball out. Into the wings. Still alive for Hez East. Really good meterage gain from Hez East there. Back into Eagleton, the Ulster man. Good leg drive from the Goodrick player. Kick through in from Holcroft. The fullback covers it on the outside of his 22. Gets stepped. Still going. They're playing the ball through it. The ball doesn't go to hands. Now in the hands of number 12. Quite loose and frantic. But they get a medic. Bucknell for Hezies, the left winger has gone down. Hezies down to 14 men. Bucknell has gone down off the pitch. Ball still in the hand of, of Collingwood. Number six, another great leg drive carry. Overlap here if Collingwood can explore it. Into the num number 11, Wilcox. Turns on the gas. Great chop tackle by uh, the number 15 for Hez East. There's still an overlap on the left. Into the arms of the number seven. Eagleson goes in for the turnover. Unsuccessful. Ball still there for Collingwood. Another carry again from James Wynn. Hez East over the ball. And Hez East get the penalty. Collingwood holding on. And Hez East hold on despite being a man down because Bucknell is still off the ground. And I believe that Hez East have made the substitution. Hez East looked, out, looked to get outside their 22 with this clearing kick. Not made touch, and it's in Hollis the fly half. Into the full back. Ewan Rose. Into the outside centre. Uh, Crossfield kick attempt from Collingwood. Didn't go out on the full. So Hez East ball with the line out thrown in their own 22. That was good territory play there from Collingwood. Punishing Hezies for not making touch with their penalty touch finder. Ah, the ref is saying it was a 50 22, therefore, Collingwood ball at the line out throw. So, because the ball was kicked in Collingwood's own half and bounce ball going out of play, it is a 50 22 turnover to Collingwood. Collingwood to throw in. Well, there seems to be some confusion here. Is it a 50-22 or not? 
No, apologies, it's not 50-22. Hezzy's ball, uh, Max Hunt's throw in. Turnover from Collingwood, slapped down to the fly half, through the hands to the outside channel. Good pass to the number 11. Steps one, doesn't step the other. Gets the ball out of the hands of the number 12. Can he finish? He can indeed. That was Oli DGW for the finish of Collingwood College. So Collingwood now in the lead, 12-7. Another cut, tough touchline conversion to come, this time on the left-hand side. Hezies will be really disappointed that with their line-out drills there. Uh, and Collingwood were able to make a quick turnover, get the ball out of the hands, keep the ball alive, despite decent cover defence from Hezies. And uh, DGW dots down for Collingwood College for Team Durham. The conversion was to the left of the posts, so the score remains 12-7 to Collingwood College for Team Durham. Ten seven, sorry. Chess was here looking to keep the ball on the left hand side. Goes high and long just to the twenty two. Catch by Collingwood number four. Thomas Gold. Decent chop tackle from the number eight. Hollis to clear, decent punt, keeps in the field of play, onto the Hezzy's fullback. Bairstow keeps the ball alive to Chesworth. Kick through but rebound, still in Hezzy's control. Just inside the Collingwood half. Into the forwards for a carry. Another big carry from the number four, Thomas Golden. Running onto it was the number eight. Over the gain line still heads east. Now into the backs. Overlap here if they can get the ball wide. Knock on. Kick through. Number 11 for Hezies to cover. Gets on the ball. Oh, and there was a little knock on there. And uh, great territory gain from Collingwood. Collingwood scrum just on the outside of Hezies is 22. Hezzy's had the space there to overlap, but hands let them down. And a good kick through from Collingwood sees them with the scrum. Just outside the Hezzy's 22. Barnett to put in. The scrums this game have been good. It's another clean scrum. Out the ball to the number 13. Out the back to number 12. 11 on the wrap round. Big contact. Gets the ball out. Still alive. Advantage to Collingwood. High tackle from Hez East. Here it is to Hollis. A wide ball to number 5, but a knock on. Back for the penalty advantage. Captain Hollis calls for another scrum. <laughs> the scrums have been really good thus far this game. No collapse scrums, clean ball is what we like to see. And uh, both four packs are getting a talking to from the ref. And we'll uh, set up for another scrum. Ref calls bind. Ref calls set. Barnett to throw in. Pressure from Hezies, but the ball is still there. Good hook back. Into Hollis. 
little switch move. The ball is there, 15, quite low, but still. Hezzy stay over the ball, but the ball is still there for Collingwood. Win again with a big carry and leg drive. Still exploiting the left. Good contact there. Eagleson again over the ball, but still the ball there for Collingwood. Win again with another carry. That's his what? Uh, sixth, seventh carry of the game thus far. Still in the forwards. Chop tackle from Hez East. Collingwood still playing on the pressure. Out the back to Hollis, the fly half. Out the back again to the number eight. Really good cover defense from Hez East, but they've still got the, uh, they're trying to exploit the advantage on the right hand side. Hez East keeping Collingwood to the right hand side. Ball comes out to the fly half. On the wide ball to win. Ball still there for Collingwood to explore this overlap on the left. Ball out to number 11 for a simple finish over the line. And uh, runs as close to the po post as possible. Try to Collingwood. 15-7. Hezies were doing well initially, but uh, Collingwood got really good width on the ball. The hands were good in the cold conditions. And uh, it was a simple finish in the end for their number 11, uh, Alfie Wilcox. 15-7 ahead with a kick to come. It looks like Hez East have made some substitutions potentially, who will confirm that after this kick has, has been attempted. Conversion is uh, unsuccessful despite being quite close to the post, so it remains 15-7 uh, to Collingwood College for Team Durham. Hessington RFC representing the colleges of Constantine, Goodrick and Langwith uh, are down by eight points. And it does look like as though Hez East have made some substitutions. Chesworth looking again to kick off to the left-hand side of the pitch. Another high kick around the 22 mark. Cooper again, number four for Collingwood. Decent shot, despite the run-up. Ball still there for Collingwood. Collingwood to keep this Lutz play from their own 22. Outside centre gets on the outside, and then out over the 22. Ball squirts out but still in the hands of Collingwood, keeping the ball alive to the number 14. Here it is to win. It takes two men to take him down. Kick through from Hollis. Trying to play the touch, James. Bottom lead covers for Hez East. Tries to get on the left-hand side. Puts on the gas. Good tackle, but keeps the ball alive. Dummy there from Hez East. Ball still there, near, the, near enough the halfway mark. Onto the big number four for another carry. Great carry there from the number four for Hez, Hez East. Collingwood over the ball, but it's still Hez East ball. Pierce it to Chesworth, catches above his head, but keeps the ball alive. Good footwork, still on his feet. Awesome footwork, a go on the right-hand side. Chicken wing offload off the deck. Ball still there for Hez East. But a big tackle there on the number 21. Slightly high there on the low, but the ref says play on. They're keeping it in the forwards. Another big carry there from Hez East, getting over the gain line, taking two men to take him down. Here it is to Chesworth. Wide ball on the outside. Good contact, but still on the, still on the ground. Still on the ground. Ball still there for Hez East, in and around the halfway mark. 
another ga another gain line breaking run there from the number four for Hez East. Chesworth spins wide into the inside centre. Keeps the ball alive. On the toe. 15 there, loses it a bit backwards. Good tackle there. Keeps the ball alive for the number nine. Clears down the line. Chesworth to cover for Hez East. Footwork there to beat the number nine. More footwork, power to get through the contact. Eagleson, the number seven. Good carry there. Has he still had the ball? Knock on there from the number four. Collingwood turnover. Here it is for Hollis. Out the back to the number 12. Good punt through, looking for territory. Bottom Lee runs back to cover. Bottomley charged down, everyone on side. Collingwood turnover. Hezzy's over the ball. Turnover. Hezzy's on the Hezzy's on the break. Trying to keep the ball alive. Into Bottomley. Big forward carry over the game line. Can they get quick ball off the ruck? Yes, they can. Into the number four again. Another huge carry from the number four. Thomas Golden, been an absolute menace for Collingwood all afternoon. Out of the back to Chesworth. Out of the back to the number 13. Can they straighten up here and get the ball out? Decent tackle from Collingwood. Can they resource the ruck? Another carry there. Hezzy's getting pretty decent ruck ball, but they're still on the uh, halfway mark. Keeping the ball alive. Still going. And the ball is loose and goes into touch. That was a really long um, set of play there. Both players out on their feet, but that was really good defense there from Collingwood as uh, Hezzy's were looking threatening and around the halfway mark. But it now is a line out to Collingwood. players from both sides on the deck and uh, Hez East is calling for a, a substitution here. And uh, is that the fly half Chesworth leaving the pitch? It is. Uh, that's a loss for Hez East, uh, their fly half Chesworth coming off. Collingwood to throw in. Messi, uh, the ball is turnover of Hezzy. That Eagleson on the ball. Scrum half placement into Holden for another carry. Collingwood try and hold him up. Ref calls tackle. Collingwood pile in to, to drive over. However, the ref says they went off their feet and it is a penalty to Hez East. Opportunity here to get the ball deep into the, the Collingwood half and try and get a score before half time. Outside centre kicks and finds touch just shy of the 22. Hunt getting ready to throw in. <laughs> Hezies have kept their big number four, uh, Golden, outside. Again, that line out was really messy, and it is a scrum to Collingwood. Their line out drills have let them down, and uh, Collingwood have the scrum on the turnover.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ref calls Crouch. Bind. Set. Decent contact on the scrum. Barnett to throw in. Pressure coming through, but the ball is still there, just about. More pressure coming in from Hez East. They get the ball out there, Collingwood. Trying to over, trying to play this overlap. Good tackle from Page, number 13. Eagleton over the turnover, but he's off his feet. Ref says, ball's still there for Collingwood. Here it is to Hollis. Another overlap here. Can the hands be clean? Gets out to 15. And now the 14 up the, off, up the right hand side. Really good run there from the number 14, Joe Lewis. Trying to explore an overlap. Hez East over the ball. Clear out is good from Collingwood. Win again. Out the back to fly half. Puts on the gas. Gets through the line. And a great three ball to the number 11. Keeps the ball alive, but there's a knock on there. Surely, yes. Great break there from Collingwood, but hands let them down and Hezzy survive. Scrum on the five meter mark. This is a sign of how physical the first half has been. Uh, teams, players from both teams uh, taking a knee just to recover from the high intensity uh, ball in play time. We believe that's been another substitution by Hez East. Ref blows the whistle and Hezis will set up for the scrum. Hezis got some real good pressure on Collingwood in the last scrum. Can they uh, repeat that feat with the ball on, in their own feed? Holcroft to put in. Ball is there for Holcroft. Or attempted charge down from Collingwood, but the ball goes out and it will be a Hez East line out throw. There was good pressure there from Collingwood in the end to try and get uh, a try from that um, charge down. But luckily the, the ball went out into touch and it's Hez East throw, although the line out has been under considerable pressure throughout this game. So uh, this close to their line, we'll see if they can maintain their drills. Hunt to throw it in. Hezies get their drills right. Off the top, but the ball is messy. And there's a breakthrough from one of, the, one of the front rows. Keeps the ball alive to Eagleson. Also keeps the ball alive. Wide ball out to Bottomley. It was a floater, but Bottomley tries to use his pace. Big tackle from Collingwood from Lewis. But Hezies are up to the front line. Running onto the ball is Hezies over the game line. Can they get good ball? Ball still there for Hez East and ref calls advantage. Golden there with another big carry. Up through the middle from Hez East. But he says that was crossing and will come back from the penalty advantage. That was a great line break there from Hez East. And uh, they tried to exploit the overlap. Uh, and they'll, they'll end up with a penalty. Hopefully they can kick this quite deep into the Collingwood half and try and nab away at the lead from Team Durham. Uh, the ball has gone out. 
uh, sort of halfway between the halfway line and the 22, if such thing exists. And uh, Hunt again for Hezis looks to set up the next line out throw. Hezis got their line out drills more or less spot on last time. Let's see if uh, they can do so again this time. Both teams have yet to really set up a driving wall. Uh, let's see if Hezis will do it from, from this set piece line out. Go through the drills. Hunt throw in. Gets the ball off the top. It's not clean for uh, Holcroft, the scrum half. Gets away. Hezis still have the ball. Into the forwards. Golden again with another big carry. Can they get quick ball? Oh. Uh, ref has called stop of play. Uh, potential injury to a Collingwood player. <laughs> there was a big collision there from uh, Golden, the big number four, on one of the Collingwood players, and he looks a little bit worse for wear. Uh, ref just making sure he's okay. The number eight looks rather gingerly, I do have to say. A substitution should be made, and uh, Colin would have done so. Luckily, he's uh, well enough to walk off the pitch, but he should go for a quick uh, head injury assessment. Uh, we believe that was the number eight, uh, Oliver Lind. Hope he's okay for Collingwood College. Ref will bring back play to where he blew up the whistle and it'll be a Hezzy scrum. <laughs> a reminder of the score is still 15-7 to Collingwood College, representing Team Durham. Hezis looks to get another big shove in the scrum. Ball doesn't quite come in, so it'll be a reset, the first reset of the game, uh, which is quite remarkable. The quality of scrums has been very, very good from both teams. Good engage there from both teams. Hook through from Hez East. Number eight on the ball, out the back to Holcroft. Dummy and go. Outside, Page on the outside. Hez East still on the ball. Forward there for another carry. Takes two men to bring him down. Trying to get on the outside. Here it is to number 12. Hez East is on the ball, into the forwards. Golden with another big carry. Good contact there by number six, but really good leg drive. Still on his feet, still on his feet. Loses the ball in contact. Collingwood look to turn over. Keeping the ball alive, into the number five. On the outside. Hez East look to cover. On the blind side from the number 20. Has he got the pace to go? Ah. And a knock on there, just as Collingwood looking to score. And that is half time. Score 15 7 to Collingwood College representing Team Durham. Hez East, Hesington East RFC represents University of York, down by eight points at half time. Oh, 
Rugby A seed fixture, uh, Heslington East RFC versus Col <laughs> Collingwood College RFC. And uh, Hezzy is still in a huddle as the ref looks uh, to start for the second half. Hezzy East have made another uh, change. They brought off their main big ball carrier, Thomas Golden. So they'll be losing a lot of uh, power in that front five but they need their set piece to function and uh, they need some good hands to enable to close down this eight point gap that Collingwood College have got over Hez East. Reminder, as an A seed fixture, this is worth five points for the winning team for either the York Sport Union or Team Durham. Hez East to start off the uh, second half with a kick from the number nine, Sam Holcroft, waiting on the ref's whistle. Make sure everyone's ready and just making sure all the numbers are, are correct and we should be a go soon. Not exactly sure what we're waiting on. Um, just waiting on for the substitution there from Hez East. What? Are you joking? What? So the replacement for Golden has come on for Hez East. Wearing the number four jersey. Kick to the left from Holcroft. They get the captain, Hollis, to ground. Turnover from the number four. Hezzy's with a massive turnover, just shy of the five. Uh, ref calls time up, says it's a penalty for uh, tackling beyond the horizontal. So Hezzy's have a penalty here right in front of the sticks. They could go for three. What will they call? They call for the number, they call for the three. They're gonna go for a penalty. <laughs> Good impact there from the replacement second row. Stripping the ball in contact and getting over the game line. Uh, Collingwood give away the penalty with uh, tipping the tackle beyond the horizontal. Uh, dangerous act of play, so penalty to Hez East. And uh, Holcroft, the number nine, looks to close down Collingwood's lead with a penalty.
This is more or less to the left of the centre of the posts. Holcroft with a one up, run up. And he kicks the kick wide. And the ball goes dead. So it'll be a 22 kickoff for Collingwood. Disappointing miss there from the number nine to the uh, chagrin and jokes of some of the supporters in the crowd. Uh, all in good nature, I'm sure. But uh, Hollis with the 22 dropout. Gets good connection, good distance onto the ball. Full back for Hesse's to cover, nice and simple. On the charge. Number four on his outside. Gets footwork and footwork over. Hesse's on the halfway line. Trying to explore the overlap here from Chesworth, who's back on the pitch. Kick through, really good kick through under pressure. Collingwood try and run round, get on the outside. Trying to explore the overlap. Kick through, fall back to cover. Will Hesse's go there, trying to apply the footwork. Doesn't get passed around anyone. Collingwood pile over the ruck. Collingwood looking for the turnover. Uh, ref says, leave it. Still hasn't an East ball. Back into the forwards to get out of the middle. Collingwood again over the ball. Ref says, leave it. Back in the arms of the scrum half. Hunt on a big carry. Advantage, not rolling away. Number four with another massive handoff and carry. And the ref will come back for the penalty, not rolling away. Given the uh, penalty conversion miss, Hezis might look to go for the corner with this one for the line out and drive. Which they are going to do. Balls in, ball in the arm of Holcroft, sorry. Doesn't find touch. And Collingwood looked to clear. Spiral style kick, covered well by the fullback, looking to run to the right. In the arms of Chesworth. Into the arms of Page, the outside centre. On the gas, footwork, power as well. Tries to keep the ball alive, goes to the ground, ref says. Penalty, playing the ball on the floor. That was a really good break there from the outside center, Nathaniel Page. Uh, tried to keep the ball alive, uh, went forward, and then he played the ball on the ground, which is uh, a penalty offense. Collingwood to clear. Decent nudge there from uh, Hollis, the captain. And Collingwood will have to throw in more or less on the halfway mark. Berman for Collingwood to throw in. <laughs> Little short line out pop to Berman on the outside. Is he still in the field of play? Ref says yes. Collingwood still have the ball. Little of a juggle there from Collingwood, but they still have the ball. Hesse's trying to apply pressure over the breakdown. Still in the hands of Collingwood. Into Hollis the fly half. Trying to play a full-back move. They keep the ball in hands, though. Good shot from Nathaniel Page. Hesington East over the ball, but they still have clear. Ref says play on. Hesse's trying to apply the pressure, but the ball is still in Collingwood's hands. Try and go left for the long looping ball. Step on, a knock on there from uh, Collingwood. Chesworth, ball in hand. Still going, still on his feet, the fly half. A uh, slip there from Hez East means he's unable to cover. Ref comes back for the knock on offense from Collingwood. Scrum to Hez East, just uh, on their side of the halfway line. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
That was the numbers there at points there for Collingwood, but uh, handling, which has been a theme of this match, has let them down slightly. Uh, but Hezies have the ball and will look to exploit this space. Good height there on the scrum from Hezies. Ball in there from Holcroft. Gets on the shove. Ball out for the scrum half. Dummy out the back. But a uh, little knock on there from uh, Hez East and a kick through from Collingwood. Ball in the still field, field of play. And it rolls out into touch, uh, which the linesman calls as Collingwood ball. <laughs> Decent idea with a little dummy move there, but uh, hands let them down just slightly. And uh, Collingwood had the line out inside at Hez East 22 opportunity to extend their lead in the first 10 minutes of the second half. <laughs> Berman to throw in again for Collingwood. <laughs> Lift and draw is good. Set up the mall, the first driving mall of the game. Collingwood get the drive on, get the shove. Out to scrum half, not really going anywhere. Into Hollis, out the back. Good tackle from uh, Hezis there, but uh, wasn't held, so still on his feet. Really good pressure there from the number four to disrupt that ball, but still in Collingwood's hands. Hollis, little knock on there from Hez East, uh, from Collingwood, sorry, and it'll be a turnover to Hez East. Really good defence there from uh, <laughs> the collegiate side representing the University of York. <laughs> Forwards trudging over for the scrum. Has his ball. I know, I know, it's bad, isn't it? Here for the scrum. Good contact there from Hez East. Bit of pressure coming through, but the ball's still there. Out to Chesworth. Out the back. On the angle, ball still alive. Just outside the 22. Chesworth with the inside ball to Page. Still on his feet, still on his feet. Another good line break carry there from Page. They've got numbers there. Hunt with the carry. Out the back to number three. Still on his feet, still going. Anyone with him for support? Rook ball is there. Chesworth there. Pass through. Bottomley on the switch. Ball still alive. Ball still there. Collingwood look for the turnover. Remember, Hesington East are down by eight points. They need two scores to get back into the lead. Big tackle on Eagleson, the Ulster man. They're looking to go wide into the big number four. With the handoff. Is he through? Is he through? Yes, he is. Great wide ball to the number four, the replacement for Hesington East. Power and leg drive to get over, and it is a score for Hessington East. The score is now 15 12 to Hessington East. Kick to come. That was a really well constructed try there from Hesington East, getting through the hands and uh, keeping the ball alive. A lovely wide ball out to the replacement. He's been really powerful all half and he gets over. And Hesington East, now as Holcroft looks to convert this score, makes some replacements. Holcroft for the conversion attempt. And he gets the conversion. 
Hessington now only down by one point. After an early uh, penalty miss, uh, Holcroft makes amends with a decent conversion there. And Hessington will be looking to regain the lead. Hollis looking to the left. Deep into the 22. Number 11 to take. Tries to get on the outside. Finds number four. Another carry. Takes two, three men to bring him down. Ball there for the scrum half. Into Chesworth. Looking to get over the edge. Onto Bottomley, the number 14. Gets on the outside. Still going, Bottomley. Onto the halfway mark. The scrum half darts, but there's no one there. Into Daly, the replacement. Good drive there from Daly. The ball is ah, on, on the ground. Hezzy's retained pre uh, possession for the time being. Rook clear out is good. Uh, Madigan again with a carry. Two men to bring him down. Chess is playing scrum half. Onto Eagleson, gets on the outside. Really good carry there from Eagleson. There's still an overlap here. Chesworth on the outside. Bottomley takes contact. Ball still kept alive. Hesington in the. Uh, ball quite messy on the left hand side. Ref calls a penalty to Hessington East. Uh, playing the nine, I believe, is the call. <laughs> All Hessington do have the penalty. They're looking to kick for corner, which they do get. Munt again to throw in. Hunt to throw in again, sorry. <laughs> Overthrow again from Hez East and Collingwood are on the ball. They try and get the turnover at the ruck, but the ref says, the ref says play on. Wide ball out, but uh, ref says the ball went forward. So it is a scrum to Hez East uh, just inside the 22. It's a central scrum right in the middle of the park. Options left and right for Hezzy to exploit. The numbers suggest they're going to go right. Good engage from both teams. Ball is there for Hezzy at the back. Antle, the number eight, controlling. In the arms of the number nine. Out the back, but the uh, just slightly overran it slightly, and Chesworth is having to recover. Collingwood all over him, but uh, Chesworth is really well to retain ball. However, Hezis have been pushed back. They look to carry up the front. Ball still there for Hezis. They look to exploit this overlap on the right. Big contact from the number 11, but the ball is still there for Hez East. That was a massive tackle from the uh, number 11, Wilcox. Another big tackle from Collingwood, applying loads of pressure onto Hez East. Eagleson recovers ground with a big carry. Quick ball for the number nine, Chesworth. Crossfield kick attempt for Bottomley. Into the straight into the arms of the number 11. Decent contact from Bottomley, but there's still ball there. Turnover for Hez East. Bottomley on the ball. 
turnover though to Collingwood. Lots of pressure coming through this ruck, a real mess. Who has got the ball? It's in the arms of Collingwood. Good leg drive and uh, keeping the ball alive. Decent hit there from Hunt the Hucker. Good hands from Hollis. Uh, uh, out the back offload attempt from Collingwood there, but that was miles forward and the ref will come back for the scrum. Collingwood trying to keep the ball alive, which is really admirable in these conditions. Um, uh, the ruck was quite a mess there uh, two phases ago, but uh, Hez East have the ball just outside the 22. Remember, Hez and East are down by one point. Five points of RC up for grabs in this match. The scrum half Holcroft has been replaced, and the replacement scrum half to feed in for Hessington East. Another good contact on the scrum. Ball squirts out. <laughs> Dummy and go. The ball is still alive. Uh, the ball goes back to Collingwood. Hollis, the captain, clears up. Uh, kick through there. A uh, little bit of a banana kick, and it goes into touch. Hesington East line out just on the other side of the halfway line. <laughs> the drills from Hesington here needs to be spot on. Their line out has malfunctioned at points during this game and uh, they need to keep on hold of the ball if they want to look and put on some pressure to get the next score. Be that a try, penalty or drop goal. Not a lot of tall players on the pitch of Hez East, but Eagleson goes in. The ball is messy, but Hez East are on the ball. Number three with a big carry and leg drive. Not held, says the ref. Big contact there from Collingwood, looking to get on the outside. Collingwood are over the ball. The ref says advantage. Collingwood not rolling away there, therefore they couldn't turn over that ball. Uh, Collingwood will be disappointed with that. That was really good defense. Um, but not rolling away there. Easy pen for Hezies to clear. Can they make touch with this kick? No, they can't. And Collingwood looks to counter. Still in their own half. Footwork from the full back. Has he over the ball? Uh, clear out. Turnover has East. Can they get quick ball? In the hooker. Over the ball from Chesworth. Footwork still alive. Where's his support? Eagleson there to clear out. Slit looking to explore the gap on the left hand side. Big double tackle on Hunt the hooker. Penalty advantage to Hesington East. Collingwood going off feet again. Quick tap and go from Chesworth at number 10. Shows and goes himself. Is he isolated? No, the ruck is resourced by Hesington East. Looking to go right. Pass through. Carry from the number seven. Still on his feet. Hesington looked to remain to explore the gap on this left-hand side. In the arms of the big number four again. Still going, still going. Score! <laughs> Try, Hessington East. Awesome, awesome leg power there from the number four. And Hessington, for the first time, uh, for the first time in this half, sorry, get the lead. Uh, 19 points to 15, kick to come.
that was good composure there from Hazis before that score. Uh, getting over the gain line, good hands and uh, good leg drive to stay on his feet. The ref said he wasn't held, so he powered through to get over for his second try in the game. Awesome, awesome impact from the replacement second row. Kick from attempt, and it is just shy. So the score remains 19-15 to Hessington East. Go, Adam! <laughs> Adam! Adam! Yeah! Huh? Don't get bounced again. Hollis with another kick to the left-hand side. Jacob Daly to take, lets it bounce, doesn't take it on the full, Collingwood with a turnover. Out the back to Lewis, the 14. Still on his feet. Collingwood appeal for the penalty there, but the ref says no. Over the ball from Hezis. Ball still remains in Collingwood, in to win the number six. Hollis on the crash ball to the number 12, covered. Still exploring that uh, right-hand side. 13 still on his feet. Collingwood looking to regain the lead immediately after conceding. Ball still there. Number seven with a carry. Attempted rip from Heslington East, but the ball remains on Collingwood's side. Win with another carry. And uh, Hezzy's penalised because the tackle was complete when the ball was ripped. Penalty to Collingwood. What do they look to do here? It looks like they're going to do a tap and go move. Indeed so. Tap from the number nine into number 20 with a run up. Ref says play on. Into the number seven, out the back, oh, and oh, an intricate move for the number 11. And a try, another try from Wilcox. Really good uh, intricate move there, hide, uh, setting up for a carry and drive, out the ball to number 11 racing through. And uh, just after conceding, Collingwood regain the lead. 20 points to 19, kick to come. Very well hidden attacking move there from Collingwood from the tap and go. And Hollis looking to convert. Successful conversion. Collingwood 22, Hesington East 19. <laughs> However, the game is not done by any means. Hesington are only down by three points. But we're approaching the last 10 minutes. Reminder for the audiences, uh, there can be no draw. So if uh, Hesington East equalise with a drop goal or penalty, it will have to go to extra time. So they will need a try, at least. <laughs> Chesworth with a kick through to the left-hand side. Take from the number 13. Takes contact. Uh, Collingwood looked to clear. Good pressure on Hollis, the fly half by Eagleson for Hesington East. Fullback looking to exploit, running quite laterally. Gets the ball on the outside to Chesworth though. Fixes his man, keeps the ball inside. Are they still going? Cow still going. And it's a, it's a try. What a try from Hes East. Great response there. And it was Callum Smith with the power and the pace to dot down over for Hesington East. And they are back in the lead. 24 points to 22. Kick to come. Is 
that all came from the pressure that Eagleson applied to the fly half Hollis for the cover. Uh, easy kick for the fullback to cover. Ran quite laterally, but uh, was able to get a really decent ball over to Chesworth. And then uh, Callum Smith did the rest for an awesome finish. What, kids? Hello. Hezzy's looking to extend their score by two. Smith looking to convert his own score. <laughs> Conversion is just wide, just to left of the post. So the score remains 24-22. Uh, Vicky, Vicky, five or ten, depending on how it goes. I'll let you know. Hesington East representing the East Campus Colleges of Goodrick, Constantine and Langwith. Two points ahead in this A-seed game versus uh, Collingwood College from Durham. Hunt on the ball with a big carry. The ball on the bounce is still in the hands. Into the big number four. Good hands from Hesington East. Good chicken went offload and they get just over the halfway line. Eagleson with another leg drive of a carry. Alex Antle onto the ball, still on his feet, the number eight. Quick ball here for Hessington East, out to Chesworth. Big contact, but stays on his feet. Ball still alive. On the bounce to the number three. Takes into contact, still on his feet, the number three. They're looking to exploit the left. Inside ball. On the edge of the 22, still remaining on the left. Ball comes loose, but still there for Hez East. Clear out is good. Johnny Eagleson again with a carry. Another wide ball to Hunt the hooker. Takes two men to bring him down. Out the back here. Wide ball from Chesworth to Callum Smith. On the outside. Gets out of one. Still on his feet. Up to the five meter line. Another carry from the forwards, pick and go. Keep the ball alive. Still on his feet. And over. Great work from the Hesington East forwards there. And a nice offload sees one of their forwards over the line. And that's now 29-22 to Hesington East. Kick to come. Hezzy's looking to get good control of this game now and see out the last five to ten minutes. That was another really well-constructed score and uh, forward power played dividends in the end. Another searing break from inside centre. Callum Smith on the outside from a great ball over the top. And uh, that was good leg drive from the forwards. A nice offload, keeping the ball alive. And one of the forwards was able to go over. Pritchard, I believe. Callum Smith looking to convert. This kick is uh, slightly closer to the goal posts, but we'll see how he goes. Decent connection, and... I believe the kick did not go over. There was no flag raised from the assistant linesman, so I'm assuming that conversion did not go over. So it remains 29-22 to Hesington East. Boys, heads on heads on Collingwood a converted try down. They need to score twice to, to, to be in a chance of winning this game. A shorter, higher kick. Eagleson to take. Another good leg drive carry from uh, Johnny Eagleson. Carry from the number three. 
takes two. It's taking two Collingwood players to take down these Hesons and East ball carriers. Oh, and uh, unfortunately, a little knock on there from Hesies just as they're getting over the gain line. But even with uh, the big number four, Thomas Golden, off the field, Hesies are really uh, taking it to town with these carries in the forward pack. And uh, Collingwood are just not being able to handle it, but uh, a knock on there uh, gives uh, Collingwood a chance to get a score, to get them back in this game with not long to go, about five, seven minutes left in the match. Refers, uh, blow his whistle just so uh, Chesworth can uh, attend to his laces. And we're all good. Time back on from the ref. Scrum towards the middle of the park. Collingwood numbered more or less to the right hand side. Pressure coming through from Hesis on the scrum. The ball is still just about there. Pick up by the number eight. Not clean. They still wrap round to the right. 13 saves from his feet. Still going. Still going. Big contact with Chesworth. Rips the ball. Great work from Chesworth to defend. Carry from Pritchard, the number six. Clear out good. Forward again. Decent uh, clearance kick there from Hez East. <laughs> that was really good defence there from uh, Chesworth. To rip the ball in contact there. And uh, we're just having some uh, difficulties retrieving the uh, match day ball. Um, the one that Hez East lads is doing his best. There we go. <laughs> Top-notch facilities here at the 22 Acres at uh, University of York. Collingwood to throw in on the line-out. To the front. Pressure, but the ball is still there. Hollis there to take over his head. Out the back. <laughs> Looking to exploit uh, numbers on the right-hand side. They get over the gain line through Brown. Into the forwards again for another carry. Over the gain line. Pressure coming through on the ruck. Ball still there for Collingwood. Rush defence there from Hez East and really good to get over the gain line. Great power drive from a hit. There's still numbers on the left hand side for, for Collingwood. Pritchard there with the, with the, with the tackle. Another great contact there from Hez East in defence. That was the number eight, uh, Anstall. They're looking to go left again. Another big contact from Pritchard. Hez East coming on the counter through the ruck. Hook back through and no, the ref says that's a penalty. The ref said that, that was not a uh, not a clean uh, attempt at turning over the ruck there, and Collingwood are just deliberating what to do with this penalty, and they're going to go for the sticks. If this goes over, that brings uh, Collingwood within four points, which they can then try and get a winning score through a try. But this is. This is dependent on them getting this conversion kick. Sorry about it, the captain, Charlie Hollis, looking to convert for three points to bring in the score to four. <laughs> and the kick is good from Hollis. So the score is now 29-25 to Hesington East. Hez East has to hold on to stop Collingwood getting a winning try. 
and that was all they would need in the final minutes of the game. <laughs> Composure and playing in the right hat, playing in the right areas of the field are needed here by Hessens and East in order to get the win. <laughs> Chess is looking to send this ball to the right hand side. Instead, he goes left. More or less the middle, in between the posts. Oh, and a knock on there from uh, the replacement, Kai Wen Yao, for Collingwood. Big scrum, big moment. That was a great deep kick there from Chesworth, and the replacement for Collingwood, uh, Kai Wen Yao, was unable to handle the ball. <laughs> Great opportunity here from Hezis to see out the game. <laughs> Be interesting to see what Hezis do here. They might try and look and get the shove on in the scrum. They've got some really good power through the scrum. Not necessarily been rewarded with any penalties, but um, they'll try and get a good leg drive on here in this scrum. Numbers to the right. Pick up from the number four. Looks to go. Is he looking for his hat trick? Is he still going? And he's over. That's a hat trick from the replacement number four off the back of an awesome scrum. And that should be the game for Hesington East and the University of York. 34 25 is the score. Kick to come. Just a reminder for our listeners, that is the replacement uh, back five player who has scored all his three tries in this second half. It allowed Hezis to get back into the lead and ultimately control this A seed fixture. Straightforward ish conversion for Callum Smith to come. Conversion is successful. It's 36-25 to Hessington East versus Collingwood College from Team Durham. The game is not done. There is still time left on the clock. Hessington has got to play smart rugby here to try and see out the rest of this game. And Collingwood cannot give any turnovers or penalties. Another short-ish kick through from Hollis. Alex Antor to take, takes the contact. Clear out is good in the ruck. Chesworth in the ball. Three ball and the ref says play on. There was a tap down from Collingwood, ref says all back, so play on. Ball in the hands of Collingwood. Win again with another carry. That bloke has been tireless all game. Another counter ruck through. Ref says play on. Pritchard breaks through. Forwards just tracking it through. Another great gain line carry. Looking to go right in the arms of Chesworth. Kick through. Brown looking to cover. Gets a little bit of footwork on, but doesn't doesn't beat the uh, the covering defender. Hezzy sits a form wall through Callum Smith, but the tackle is formed. Oh, they go down the right. And uh, play on, says the ref. Ball goes backwards. They try and look for a turnover at the ruck, and it's a penalty. Turnover to Hessington East. Jacob Daly, the replacement flanker, with a crucial turnover there. And uh, and that is full time. Hesington East win this fixture, 26 points to 25. That is five points going to the University of York in today's varsity. A great game of rugby with physicality from both sides, but the power that Hesington East were able to bring on in the second half saw them home for a great uh, afternoon fixture of men's collegiate rugby.
good in here for five times to get a bar one And we're pitch side with two players from Hessington East from that victorious game here. We've got Ches with the fly half and Adam, one of the replacements. Uh, tell me, lads, that was a very physical game all the way through. Obviously, you're behind uh, at half time. What were the messages said in the huddle at half time to try and get back in this game? It was just keep the intensity up. We wanted to play quick. We knew we had them on the outside. We were playing good ball out of the back. So we just thought if we can keep the intensity up, keep the pressure on, then we'll be able to put the points on them. By the end, we did. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the impact of some of those players you were able to bring in after half time, just absolutely steaming through the middle. Um, that was awesome. And yeah, so in terms of like varsity, what like this is an awesome opportunity for the University of York to be hosting this, and it's an opportunity for players to like put their hands up potentially for roster selection as well. Yeah, I think it's a good kind of display for college rugby and how good it is at the, at the uni. Uh, there's some players in there that don't play for the uni, but really, like you said, putting the names in there and hopefully we'll see them at Rhodes as well. Yeah, obviously, and obviously Hezies didn't actually make uh, varsity last year, so how big was it to actually qualify for this year and get winning that A seed fixture for oh, five it, points? It was huge. We were talking about it right from the first game of the season. Sam, the captain, he was he was on it with two, three sessions a week. He wanted us prep for every game. We had a lot of cancellations throughout the year. A lot of times James would cancel three or four times, and we just thought we want to, we want to keep, keep the intensity up, keep training, make sure we get through to, well, Beating, winning varsity. Love bit of collegiate rivalry there. But um, just a word for Collingwood. I mean, they brought it to you guys today. It was it was close until sort of the last 15, 10 minutes. Um, awesome phys physicality all the way throughout. Yeah, they brought they brought a good game and um, first 15, 20 minutes looked a bit shaky. But like like you said at the start, we kind of be believed in our rugby. We knew we would do it in the end and then like we kind of steamed them towards the end. Awesome. <laughs> cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.